has another innovative tool right now. Rick? Thank you so much, Wheels Home Projects with Rick and Dan. is all about finding the right tool and introducing great inventors as well. And Peter Lerman, and eight years of your life goes into this moment. This is a worldwide launch. You actually thought of this idea eight years ago. Eight did you years not? ago. I what was your idea? That, what was the light bulb that went off? The light bulb that went off was actually more of a lightning bolt in my back. I had a terrible pain in my back okay. after shoveling snow. And shoveling said, snow. There's got to be a better way to get the snow off the ground. Than, than the old way. That what, what, what did you do? What is the old way? The old way, traditionally, you go buy one of these at the home, home store. Store, right? You bend down, you pick up the snow. We've all been you there. Twist around. And by the end of the day, you really ate. In the time we have, take a look at this. Very quickly, show us what you have and welcome us to this new innovative idea. This is the Snow Easy, and what I did was attach a second handle with this clever little hinge, and it eliminates the need to bend over to, sh to shovel your walkway. You're not driveway. bending over to shovel your walkway. Watch exactly. this, guys. Get a wide shot, Vinny. So w let's get Peter's back in this as well. <laughs> it's a patented swing little little hinge on this as it's well. It's a pivot hinge. It moves pivot in hinge. this direction. It moves in this direction. So, you, so it allows you to throw the snow. Exactly. Or throw, we got bird seed here, but Without imagine this is snow. It allows you to throw it over. Absolutely. No strain on the back. No bending over. And you still have all the force of both hands and using your body, correct? This is exactly. You have this, a great idea. You're using the muscles in your arms and shoulders. Yes which you could probably stand a little bit of exercise with anyway. Right. And it's much, much kinder on your heart, and it's much easier on your back. And speaking of your heart, as yes. if you're a retired guy, my, my dad's got this all over him, Yes. I think. You made it a little bit smaller, so right. that, again, less strain on your heart if you're picking up snow, right? Absolutely. I've, I've read reports that about 1,000 people a year die shoveling snow. It's a very strenuous activity. People tend to not warm up, and sedentary people will pick up a very large shovel, go out, hit the driveway, and exert themselves far more than a safe amount. And then hit the driveway. Hit the driveway yeah. with their shovel. Yeah. And then they hit the driveway. Yeah. And uh, this restricts it to a, a safer amount, a more reasonable amount, so there's less strain. And, and so that maybe a retired guy can go out or a retired lady can go out and, and get some exercise and feel active and feel Absolutely. like they're really shoveling snow. Absolutely. Here's a little footage of you actually out in the, the frozen tundra of Wisconsin that's or that's Minnesota. My, uh, that's Connecticut, actually. Connecticut, close very enough. good. <laughs> well, check that out. Yes. You're not bending over at all. You're shoveling your there walk. There you go. Huh? We had six inches of snow overnight. I went out in the morning and cleared my walk, and it couldn't have been easier. The thing is, you're actually moving faster than probably a traditional shovel exactly. because you're not bending over, throwing it, taking a break, and going back, taking a break. You're taking like lots of little scoops, that's and it. It, it's, it's less weight, so it's just simpler. And you can actually go faster and probably save yourself some time. You notice you get into a nice rhythmic motion and your job is finished at no time. Here's me using uh, an old uh, traditional shovel. The shovel's a tool that's over 5,000 years old. People have been using shovels as long as there have been people. And you see that in order to use it, it's still a 5,000-year-old design, and you've got to bend over, and you have no choice. You can't lift that snow without... Eight years of your life. It also folds up, goes right into the trunk of your car, exactly. right? Exactly. The other thing that you need to clarify, that you wanted to clarify, is that um, different size people can use it as well, right? So you've Absolutely. got one here for... Yes. That you, can, you can expand it. In yes, other words, right? got big guys like you and I. There's a comfortable length that doesn't force you to bend over. The smaller guys, right? Smaller guys, women, teenagers. The shovel uh, collapses to a smaller length. It's expandable. It's Very expandable. good. And brand new to QVC for twenty-one dollars and twelve cents. A lot of winter left for a lot of people. And for a lot of people, they just don't want to do it. They want to hire somebody to do it, or they're going to spend a lot of money in a snow blower. Well, maybe. You can, you can do the walk yourself. You can throw this in the trunk of your car, and when you get back to your car at the train station at the end of the day, you can do a little bit of digging without uh, having to worry about hurting yourself. Clear the walk. Clear the driveway. Yeah. No bending over. No bending over. Show me that little pivoted hinge here, uh, the patented pivot. This is our patented hinge. It pivots in two directions. Uh -huh. It allows the main shaft to rotate left and right, yeah. and the smaller shaft to change the angle with respect to the large you shaft. Got a and that on gives that thing. we have a patent on this and this is what allows the full range of movement that makes the work so easy. The 18369. Take a look at a little tape again. That that probably clarifies it a little bit better uh, in real terms out in the real snow. Since yep. you know we'll get cold if we go out there. So we'll show it on Ooh. tape. Ooh. Yeah. There it is. And there you again, your whole premise was what? You're holding it with two hands. But with that pivot, with that extra handle, you're not bending over. Exactly. There's no need to bend over, and there's no need to twist. They're both very dangerous uh, activities, and your chiropractor, your orthopedist, or your general practitioner will advise you, don't do it. Don't lift with your back, but the regular shovel forces you to lift with your back. Yeah. Don't twist your body to throw the snow. It's also very 
very harmful. The worst thing you can do is lift and twist at the same time. Absolutely. It really is. And you'll notice that with a traditional, conventional shovel, you, have, and you have no choice. That's how you get the snow out of your way. This is the first time that you actually have a real option and a real alternative to that ancient way that's it's, it's just not good. For $21.12, it's brand new to QVC. So maybe you picked up a shovel already, and maybe you have one for this season. Uh, but maybe it broke off. Maybe it's just not doing what it should do, or maybe you're hurting your back while exactly. you're shoveling. Exactly. Probably the day after you shoveled your walk, you woke up, and it hurt quite a bit. And the day after you use this, you're a lot less likely to be in any sort of pain. It's a lot gentler on your body, a lot less strain. Uh, I would say it's a, it's a really good alternative for people with any sort of uh, coronary problem, an alternative, and an alternative for people with any sort of back or muscle problem that you can get your work done a lot easier. In the last 30 seconds, give me, give me the Reader's Digest on these eight years. How, how often did you have to go back to the drawing board <laughs> and do this again and again before you came up with what you thought was a better mousetrap, a better I really shovel? spent just a couple of days in the shop hammering one of these out, making it by hand, and uh, then the, the following, the interceding eight years, we're finding a manufacturer like Matoni Products that had a good vision for how the product should be presented, how it can be manufactured and marketed, and how we can introduce it to the public and share the benefits of this with everybody uh, that, that gets would, snow falling I'm, on them. We're doing it right now on QVC for 2112. Thank you so much for being here, Thank Peter. you. It's a pleasure. Great item. It'd be 18369. It's brand new. The Strain Freight Ergonomic Snow Shovel. Now, what else do we have in terms of great inventions coming up right now? you got to see this. Consider it. Wheels, take it away. The most innovative ladder we've ever seen.